Come on, Snowy. The Thompsons are waiting for us. That's what you get for sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. You don't see me digging in the garbage, do you? Now, where on earth could that file have got to? To be precise, where on earth is the file? I know. Maybe it's on the desk. Precisely. What are these? Objects found on a drowning victim. I'm sure I've seen this before. May I borrow this for a minute? I'll be right back. I'd better go and investigate. Oh, dear, I forgot my cane. Oh, dear, he forgot his cane. Tintin! <laughs> Whatever are you doing? I'm sure the scrap of paper came from a crab tin I threw here earlier. I thought it could help your case. You don't say! You there, police! Well? Well, it's not here. Open that sack immediately. No, it's not here either. Stranger than strange. I would even add, it's really strange. <laughs> Can you believe that? They were looking for some kind of crab meat tin. Mr. Tintin doesn't know what he's getting into. There's something definitely written here. <coughs> Caribou Jan? That's an Armenian name, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that doesn't help much. Help! Huh? Help! trying to deliver a letter to you. What in the world is going on? A can of crab, the word caribou chan, a drowned man, a Japanese kidnapped right on my doorstep. Hello? Hello, Tintin. Yes? Thompson here. Oh, hi, Thompson. What's up? An extremely interesting development. We've just identified the drowned man, a sailor named Herbert Dawes. He worked on a cargo ship called the Caraboojan. The Caraboojan? His name's Tintin. He's a reporter. Well, we don't want any reporters sniffing around here, do we? Fool! Hello, Tintin! We're here to make inquiries about that drowned sailor. Really? Mind if I tag along? Consider yourself our guest. Come along, Tintin. Thanks, detectives. Snowy and I'll take a stroll about deck. Fine. We'll meet you here in half an hour. I'm Detective Thompson. And I'm Detective Thompson. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. I'm the first mate, Alan. Let's go to my cabin, detectives. This way, gentlemen. Watch your step. Right then, watch my step. Oh, precisely. First mate Allen didn't seem very pleased to see us. I wonder what he's hiding. Wow! Look at this! Now we're getting somewhere. Let's find out what's going on. Drug smugglers. Oh! It's all clear now. Your man was drunk and drowned by accident. Precisely. An accident by drowning. Very unfortunate. But accidents do happen. Now where could Tintin be? Oh, yeah, he, he couldn't wait. He left about ten minutes ago. But he didn't even say goodbye. Well, thank you, detectives. And watch out for this step. Right, oh! How do I get into these messes? How much does he know about the shipment? 
Enough to know you killed someone for it. You mean Dawes? <laughs> well, he wasn't the first, and he won't be the last, Mr. Tintin. Snowy! Boy, am I glad to see you! Quick, chew through these ropes! We've stumbled into a real hornet's nest here. First Mate Allen, report to the captain's cabin immediately. That booze hound. He probably wants another bottle. Then let's give it to him. We'll never pull this off if he sobers up. Ouch! Who's there? Backstabbing scallywags. Huh? Don't say a word. Who, who, who are you? A prisoner on this stinking tub of yours. Why, I'll have you clapped in irons. No one slanders Captain Haddock's stinking tub! I've had the full tour, thanks. I particularly liked your cargo hold full of drugs. Drugs? In my hold? You didn't know? Of course not. I'm an honest man. Who would do something like that? Your first mate, Alan, for starters. Impossible. Alan's a good sailor. Loyal, devoted, and generous with the whiskey. You've been double-crossed. By keeping you drunk, Alan runs this ship the way he wants. That includes smuggling drugs. Double-crossed. Hornswoggled. Tricked by my own crew. Oh, the shame of it all. <laughs> Come on, Captain. Get a grip on yourself. He's not going to get away with this, but I need your help. <laughs> Captain, please. Think about your reputation. Think about your mother. What would she say if she saw you like this? Mother? <laughs> What's all that noise? Time to go, Snowy. Is that you, Mother? What's going on? I'm such a miserable fool. Drink up, Captain. This'll make you feel better. No! I promised him I wouldn't drink anymore. Who? Who did you promise? I don't know. I've never seen him before. Tin Tin! Quick! He's gone back to the hold. You, stand guard here. He may try to come back. He's shooting at us! Champagne? Ow! What happened? Where's Tintin? He snuck up on me, boss. He must have been under the bunk. Mr. Allen! Mr. Allen! The captain and some kid jumped me. I think they got a message off. Oh. Sir, one of the lifeboats is gone. Oh. 